Hello fellow survivors, today we're finally going to settle the debate on crows in the game. What do the crows do, if anything? It's time to finally clear that out. So first, before we get into anything, let me clear something up. We're not talking about the circling crows. In the long dark, you'll find crows circling around every now and then. And these are pretty straightforward and uncontroversial. They indicate the nearby carcass. Could be a corpse, could be an animal. And actually they're very good for hunting purposes. If you wound an animal and then you listen for crows, you can find an animal by listening to them. So those crows are great. But what about the crows that fly overhead? The ones that cross the horizon, that fly over you and disappear somewhere in the distance. What do they mean? Well, these crows have been the <laughs> subject of a big controversy for years now in the long dark, because a lot of people have different opinions on what they actually mean. There's been very many different versions and claims of what these crows mean, uh, if anything, over the years. But basically they boil down to three different types of arguments. One is that if you see crows flying overhead, it means that a storm is coming, especially a blizzard. So you've got to get inside. Another argument says that they just appear whenever the weather is changing. Doesn't matter how it's changing, it says that whenever you see crows, the weather is about to change. Uh, and a version of this argument is that you see crows when the weather has already changed. And I've even had versions where the number of crows you see <laughs> flying above will indicate how the weather is going to change. There's all sorts of versions of this. And then the third uh, argument is that the crows indicate the direction of which you can find a carcass. So if you see them flying, you should just think about where they're going or where they came from, and that will indicate whether it's a carcass. So that's basically the three different versions that exist. Well, I can tell you right now, my friends, that all of these are wrong. How do I know this? Let's find out. All right, so let's look at these arguments and what they actually mean and how we can figure out what the crows actually do. First thing I'll point uh, out that I already now know that all of these are wrong. The only one that actually comes close is the one saying that the weather has already changed when you see crows. That one is close to the truth, but not exactly true, and I'll explain that later. Uh, basically, I've been an advocate for <laughs> me saying that the crows don't mean anything for some time, because those of you who are new to the channel might not know that I'm a psychology professor by trade, so I'm very uh, preoccupied with scientific methods. And what's happening here in the long dark is important to understand before we talk about what the crows mean. In the long dark, we have something that I call the verbal tradition. What this means is that a lot of players are informed of how the game works through other players, including me telling you how the game works. Think of it as people sitting around a campfire and sharing stories about something, in this case, the game. And we'll tell each other, oh, you know, it works like this, and, if, and the mechanics of the game works like that, and walls work like this, and so on. And these become stories, in a, in a way. And in, in a certain sense, that's, that's great. I kind of like that, because the game doesn't have any inbuilt tutorials or mechanics, so it's kind of the only way that we can learn from each other and by also investigating the game ourselves. So in principle, I kind of like this. The problem is that it also leads to misinformation. So it's, it becomes a lot of like he said and she said kind of thing. Now I have to point out that it's perfectly normal to look for these sort of patterns and then thinking that crows actually mean something because of the concept of correlation. So for example, if we see crows going across the sky and then shortly afterwards a blizzard's hit, we start putting two and two together and create a sense of causality and think that surely the crows indicated that the storm was coming, when in reality it's just a coincidence, it's a one-off thing, it's something called selective matching. And uh, what's happening is that we remember all of those cases when we saw crows and then a storm hit, but we forget about all those cases when we saw crows and nothing happened, because those events are not memorable. And this leads us to draw conclusions that may or may not be accurate. 
Now, how do we actually go about figuring this out? Well, we shouldn't actually look for things to test whether these things, these three claims are true because it could be coincidence. So instead, we should follow the principle of falsification, which is you got to prove that something is not true because proving something true is actually quite difficult. So uh, the way you go about it is that, well, if crows indicate a coming storm, well, then if you ever see crows flying overhead and a storm doesn't show up, you know that it's wrong. So basically the way I've gone about testing this is two different ways. One is to follow this uh, uh, method of falsifying the claims to see if they can be falsified. And the other thing is that I did, which is something I very rarely do, is that I asked the developers to double check with them because I felt that this debate has been going on long enough. So let's go through this then. So for some time now, I've been keeping logs in my main run whenever I see crows. You get a feeling for what happens, what is the context when you see different crows. And there are certain patterns that emerge when you start looking for the crows and writing down their uh, patterns. One thing that becomes clear is that there isn't much of a pattern at all. Uh, we can pretty quickly dismiss the first claim that the crows do not indicate a blizzard. How do we know this? Because it happened multiple times that I saw crows and then nothing happened, nothing at all. So if, if that's the case, then it can't indicate a blizzard, can it? Now, some people might say, well, maybe it sometimes indicates a blizzard, but if it's only sometimes, then it's unreliable. So you might as well just ignore it. I mean, if you see crows and you think, oh, got a 50 50 chance it's going to be a blizzard what's the point of that right uh so we can pretty much readily just dis dismiss them the other one that indicates a change in weather is also easy to dismiss because again it happened many times that i saw crows flying about and nothing happened a good example is during one of the go episodes where i was walking out during an aurora and five times i saw crows flying overhead and in two of those occasions, uh, the wind changed a little bit, but in three, nothing happened. So that doesn't seem right either. <laughs> uh, also, you got to keep in mind that the weather will always change irrespective of crows, right? If you just go out in the world in the long dark and stand still and just wait a few in-game hours, then crows or no crows, eventually it will change. It will turn from clear to foggy to blizzard to clear and so on, crows or no crows. The weather will always change. It's built in this uh, kind of timer that has a certain random element to it. Uh, so it's always going to change crows or not. And then finally, we have that indicates a carcass. This one I gave up on testing pretty quickly because it happened a few times I would see crows flying about, say, in coastal highway or somewhere. And I can immediately tell that uh, it wouldn't align with any kind of carcass or corpse. It's pretty easy to just note down the trajectory and then plot it in a straight line on the on the map and then you can see that <laughs> they don't really indicate anything so basically uh, if you look at the patterns of how crows work when they fly overhead uh, the basics of it is that there isn't much of a pattern at all because there isn't any kind of consistent thing if anything i would say that maybe they uh, they tend to a bit more consistently show up when it's uh, morning or when it's uh, sunset and also noon. But that could be a coincidence. Uh, it could be related to something else. So based on just the data I have of basically plotting down whenever I see crows, you can see that it, it's never consistent. Sure, sometimes you'll see crows flying overhead and then a blizzard happens shortly after. But other times nothing happens. And if nothing happens, then they don't mean anything. Now, based on all this stuff, if you still think, well, <laughs> you know, I don't believe you, Zach. I, I think that these, this test is, these testings you've done, they're, they're fine, but I still think they mean something, right? Well, I got some <laughs> bad news for you because I decided to reach out to the developers on this one. Usually I don't do that because I think part of the uh, appeal of the long dark is to figure out how things work by yourself. 
Uh, but the reason I asked him this time is because in the past, Hintland used to have something called the, the Milton Mailbox, where you could submit questions to the developers, particularly uh, Raf, and he would answer questions about the game. And in one of these posts, someone asked about the crows and if they mean anything. And he said, no, not currently. So basically he said in 2019 that the crows flying uh, in the sky, they don't mean anything, right? So that to me felt like, well, then they don't mean anything. But this was three years ago. So, okay, maybe they changed their minds. So I decided to email Hintelin to ask if they, in this particular case, uh, could explain a bit. Uh, surrounding crows and they did uh, answer my question and here's basically what they said they said that crows do not indicate weather shifts but they may not be present during certain weather or times of day crows can act as markers circling the location of a carcass and dropping feathers as crafting materials but do not have any other functionality currently so there you have it right Basically, they don't mean anything. They are just ambience. So they might be present during certain weather. And if I think about it, yeah, there are certain weather types where they don't show up. Basically, if you don't see crows uh, around carcasses, then you won't see crows in the sky either, right? So that makes sense. And then also certain times of day. And in fact, based on my testing, it seems to me they tend to show up when it's morning, noon or evening, not so much in between and also rarely at night as well. So that makes sense too. So yeah, so that's basically all they do. They're just kind of atmospheric elements of the long dark that appear during certain times of day. In addition to this, the developer also told me that the crows are not different during Aurora. And there's no hidden mechanic or anything regarding the crows during the Aurora. I asked them about this because in my Nogo episode, I saw a lot of crows during an Aurora and I thought this was kind of unusual, but that's just not unusual. It's just one of the weather uh, types where they tend to appear more often. They also clarified that uh, there, because crows are more active during certain times, you should basically see them whenever it is visible for them so if the crows can see where they're flying then you should be able to see crows too and it's possible that if you enter a a transition if you go to a new region for example and the weather is fair it can trigger a, a murder of crows and they will start traveling across the sky uh, but it doesn't really matter in terms of uh, you know they don't mean anything so there you have it. That's uh, from ba both my testing and from the developers. The crows that fly overhead, they don't mean anything. They are just there as an ambience. And it's a nice ambience as well. I quite like them, but there is no hidden meaning in them. The, they don't indicate a storm. They don't indicate changing weather or anything. They are just there during certain times of day, given the right weather. And that's all they do. But because one of the claims that was closest was that the crows indicate that the weather has changed. And that one's almost true because if the weather is say in a, a blizzard and then the blizzard ends and you step outside, you might see crows, right? But the crows don't indicate that the weather has changed. They just are triggered because now it's possible for them to appear. And also, even if, even if it was the case that the crows indicated the weather had changed, that doesn't give you any information, right? Because, oh, it's, there's a blizzard outside. Oh, well now it's clear and there's birds. Great, right? <laughs> it doesn't give you any information. So yeah, uh, this is basically it. Uh, again, like there's nothing wrong with thinking that the crows mean anything. But basically the reason people believe that it did is because of this verbal tradition where we pass on information, how we believe the game works. And it's perfectly okay to be wrong about this. Throughout many of the videos I've made uh, over the years in the long dog, I have been wrong about certain things too. There are a couple things that I've said that I just assumed were how things worked and it wasn't. For example, I've said in a few videos that when you do interlope a random spawn, you can spawn wherever, but you can't. There are certain places you don't spawn, for example, right? So we all learn from our mistakes. And in this case, it's perfectly reasonable that people looked for crows and patterns in crows. But in the end of the day, this was just illusory correlation. It was just a pattern that looked to be recognizable when actually there was nothing going on. It was pure illusion. 
that the crows in the long dark, they are great, they are pure ambience, and they don't mean anything unless they are circling. If you see circling crows, then it's a carcass or a corpse, and that's great. That indicates you can go there. If they don't, then it's pure ambience. So yeah, think of that when you see crows next. I hope this has cleared up uh, crows and how they work, or rather how they don't work. And I hope you learned something new today. See you next time, survivors.